Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done almost the exact same video, but I think this is going to be a little bit better. It's going to be about these six keys, E, T, P, L, C, B. And also, while I'm here, these are your, people ask me all the time how I nudge stuff. These are my nudge keys, and to nudge stuff left or right. But on these six keys, they're all really, really good ones. Center of the page, puts everything in the center of the page. Matter of fact, I'm going to kind of demonstrate here. I'm going to move this out of the center of the page. And I'm going to make a copy. I've made a copy of everything but these. So no matter where these are on the board, if I hit P, it's going to put them both in the center of the page. They're on top of each other. So we're just going to start from the top. The T for top, if you have two or more items selected, you hit the T key, they go to the top. If you select these and go B, they go to the bottom. They actually, it depends on which one you selected last. If you select this one first, hold down the shift key and select this, B, then they come up. So if we would select, let's change them up. Select that one first, hold down the shift key, and then hit B. It's going to go down to the other one. So it all depends on which one you shift, you select. If you select them both, it's just going to make them E for even. It's going to even them up. L for left. I'm going to hit left. And then C for center. If you're not in the center of the page, it will center two things. With that said, you could also take, let me make a copy of these. And let's put one of them over here. And if we go E, C, it not only did it vertically or in horizontally, I call it even and center, because this is putting it in the, you know, these, if you do this, it centers them between themselves. Okay? If you do this and hit E, it evens them horizontally and vertically, but it's, uh, I call them even, uh, Corel might even call it horizontal and vertical. But these keys, I use P every day. You know, spec I just start drawing and I draw a circle, you know, a lift, and I hit P because I want to be in the center of the page for a lot of reasons. If I draw a line and hit P, and then if I want to double click on that line to get the rotation, it's in the center and I can rotate that line 90 degrees, and I get that. Control D, rotate it 45 degrees, and I've got that. And then I can make a two new, whole new shape with a smart fill tool and have a different shape. So learn these keys if you have it. P for center of the page. Now watch what happened. None of these are in a group. So I'm going to hit P, look what happens. It puts everything in the center of the page. The lines are already in the center of the page. Now, if this is a group, control G, we group this together, and I have it selected, it's gonna put the entire group in the center of the page. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit, and thank you for watching.